Hey YouTube, it's Marita and welcome to another edition of the Nurse Lounge. Today we are actually going to do a Sephora haul. I have picked up a few things from Sephora. I have um, just graduated from my doctoral program so I used some of my gift money and gift cards to purchase me some luxury items that I've never tried before. And I'm excited about trying these items. I would have never purchased them otherwise because why? They cost entirely too much. But I decided since I have um, some extra funds that I would basically pick up a few things. And this is what I picked up. So we're gonna go through these real quick. And I'm going to show you the things that I picked up in this haul. Now, I will say this, these items are not new, but they're new to me. So I'm very excited to be trying out some very new items and adding them to my makeup and skincare arsenal. So we're gonna just jump right in. This box is pretty full, as you can see. And shipping this time did not take that long. I was actually impressed with the shipping this time. I ordered these on June 19th, and today is June 24th, I wanna say. I don't know what day it is. But anyway, either way, it did not take as long as it did when it, when it came back in um, April when the, uh, the sale was going on and it took like two and a half weeks to get our stuff. So I was very impressed with the shipping this time. So we're gonna go ahead and dive right on in to the products that I picked up. So I picked up the Charlotte Tillsbury, um, or Till is it Tillsbury or Tilbury? The Tilbury bronzer. This bronzer just came out. Now this is new, it just came out. And I did pick up the color, let's see if I can get it open. I picked up the color Deep because I wanted to, um, especially this time of the year in the summertime, I tend to get darker. So I wanted to have a good bronzer and so that I could be sun-kissed for the um, summer. This packaging is huge, it's gorgeous as you can see. And let's see, where's the opening? Here it is, this is huge. It costs $54, I wanna say. And this is what it looks like right here. Now this is very deep for me, so I will have to use it lightly. I may go back and pick up the, um, I may go back and pick up the one before this one. This is what, four deep? I may go pick up three, but I wanted to try this and really see what this would look like on my skin tone. I think it will be great to try. We will see. This costs $54. I also picked up, I'm excited to try these products by the way. I picked up a few foundations and I watch, her name is The Fancy Face here on YouTube. I think her name is Tina. And I happen to be a complexion match to her, complexion twin to her. So I picked up a few foundations based off of what her recommendations are for what she uses. And Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation was something that I wanted to try. I have not tried any um, foundations from Dior. And this is 4.5 warm right here. So we will see. This costs us 40 something dollars, I wanna say. So we're gonna see if this is the match for me. Today I just have on Revlon. I didn't do anything special today. Just put on some Revlon, which is a drugstore foundation. And I am the color caramel for uh, Revlon Color Stay. And as you can see, it looks great on. I happen to love what it looks like on my skin. And this is my go-to foundation that I actually wear every single day when it comes to like going to work or something like that. But again, I wanted to try something different, like I said, and this is Dior. And I plan on trying these products out here in the next couple of weeks and deciding if I want to keep them or not. Because if not, they are going back to Sephora. Another foundation I wanted to try is Pat McGrath right here. I'm not going to open the packaging just yet. I'm sure you've all seen plenty of these. I've heard this packaging is divine in terms of how it comes. I did pick up the color um, 23. Is it deep 23? Medium deep 23. I picked up this color, so I'm excited to try Pat McGrath and see if I really like her products. Now, I have not, I'm new to her line, but I am definitely wanting to try and to dive into some of her products. So I definitely wanted to try this one. We shall see if I like that one or not. Another one that I picked up, or actually another foundation, I think it's the last foundation I picked up, is the YSL, is it Touche? Eclat La Tinte Radiance Awakening Foundation. I picked this up right here in the color 
warm bronze. And it's because I think she she uses 70, I think. This is BD65, I think she uses uh, 70. They didn't have 70 in stock, so I thought I would try this one right here and see if this one works for me. If not, of course, it's going back. So um, I don't know, we will see what this looks like on my skin. Um, it's warm bronze. I feel like I could probably get away with this and, and then if I have to doctor it up with uh, bronzers and things like that, that I could. It was a little on the too light side, but I thought I would just try this one and see if I like it or not. She happens to love this foundation. Another thing I bought was Tatcha uh, Violet, Violet C Brightening Serum. These things cost like $88. So this better be good. Better be good. Because if it's not, it's definitely headed back to Sephora ASAP. So I'm going to actually start using these pretty soon just because I want to be able to um, use these products and make a decision so I can go ahead and get my money back if need be. This is what the packaging looks like. It is divine. Look at this. This is very cute. I like this packaging right here. So this is a vitamin a violet C brightening serum. And if it has, if it's a brightening serum, you want to have awakened looking skin. And I'm 42 years old and I want to continue to look like I'm not. So I definitely am into skincare. You will see when I do my hauls, I typically do a whole lot more skincare than I do uh, makeup itself. I find that if you have a great skincare regimen and using great products that you don't have to use as much makeup, um, or do you have to use expensive makeup? Like I said, Revlon is what I'm wearing today and it works just fine. I love, love, love skincare. I, matter of fact, I am VIB Rouge because of the fact of I spend so much money on skincare. So if you know about VIB Rouge, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Because the money I spend, I spend it on skincare. This right here is the Violet C Radiance Mask. It's a brightening beauty berry plus dual vitamin C by Tatcha. And this cost, I don't remember how much, but it was expensive as well. But I saw this on someone else's video that they, they did a splurge and they said they were going to try these products. And I decided I would do the same. So I'm looking forward to trying these products very, very soon. It's a Radiant Mask. It comes with the cute little spatula right here. And let's see what this looks like. Ooh, it's purple. Lavender purple. Okay, so I definitely will be trying these products um, here soon. I'm not sure I'm going to be using this in my daytime or nighttime routine, but I definitely will be trying these products. I'm excited to try the Tatcha Harper. And, you know, now that I am done with school, because I was paying my own tuition to go to school, by the way. And um, now that I'm done with school, I am excited because... For one, um, well, for one, I'm done with school and I don't pay tuition anymore. But that money that I was using to pay tuition, and I was going to a private school at that, um, now can go to some of the things that I've been wanting to buy for myself for the past three years. So I am now willing to try the luxury brands of things or luxury high-end makeup because of the fact that I have a little bit more disposable money or income right this minute, or maybe not right this minute, but when I start my new job in the fall, I have more money. This was spent based off of graduation. So definitely that this was a repurchase right here is the Laneige sleep mask I got it in vanilla I happen to love this one it cost $20 I happen to love this one this is my go-to 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 um, sleep mask I don't even use it for sleep mask I use it honestly to after I brush my teeth in the morning or at night I just put this on afterwards and this is my prep shall I say for my lipstick or whatever lip product I'm wearing that day so this is what I use when it comes to that or I use it all day long you know I don't use it just to sleep all right the next thing I got is this YSL YSL is called the velvet cream velvet matte stain number 201 which is the red I happen to love red lipsticks this is luxury of course I happen to love red lipsticks and I just, oh my gosh, I just love red. A red lip, a red lip is just something that you always want to have, you know, that's pretty. Look at that. That is so pretty. Look at that applicator. 
So I don't know, we'll see. You know, this may be my first and my last time buying this, but I happen to love red lips and I wanted to try the YSL brand. All right, something else that I got was the Milk Makeup. This is the Melanin Overnight Lip Mask. So this, right, or not melanin, melatonin, sorry. Melatonin Sleep Mask. So I basically picked this up. It's an overnight lip mask that replenishes, hydrates, and calms so that you wake up to softer, smoother, and more plumped looking lips is the claim. So we shall see what this product does. Um, I like lip masks. I like anything for lip products anyway, but we're going to see, you know, specifically going to wear this at night. It's a cute little purple container right here. And um, has a little top. Here's what it looks like right there. All right, so we're going to see. I'm going to use this at night, and you'll have to find out in my favorites is this something that I actually want to use or like using or did it go back to Sephora all right so this right here I've actually hauled in another video recently the Fenty Beauty that's that um would it do mist and I bought it the $18 one which is a little travel size or deluxe size but this time I went back and purchased a full size one for $32 I happen to love that spray now mind you it is you know would it do so it kind of makes you more of a, a dewy look but I happen to love the scent I love the mist and I happen to love what you know this product right here I do have oily skin oh it smells so good Oh, it smells so good. So I have oily skin, but this right here does not make me. Now, if I was going to be wearing makeup all day or going outside, I probably wouldn't have sprayed this on. But I absolutely love how it makes my skin look refreshed um, and rejuvenated. And again, for me, this was definitely worth the purchase. Something else I picked up from Fenty was the Pro Filter Mattifying Primer. So I had the soft is it the soft matte primer I think I have that she first came out with? This is the mattifying primer um, that I picked up, the True Matte. And I, again, have oily skin, so I happen to like these kinds of, uh, I happen to love uh, <clears throat> Fancy Beauty anyway. So that's what this looks like right here, $32. And we will see if this actually, if it works. I happen to love, again, oh, it's milky. It comes out really milky and it runs too. So maybe this dries, let's see. It doesn't really have a much, it's a slight smell to it. So because it dries down pretty matte, shall I say. Um, I don't know, we'll try it out and see if I like this product, but it was milky to start off with. So that's that. And I have three more products and then we are done. So I also picked up, um, by Charlotte Tillsbury, the Pillow Talk, uh, the Pillow Talk lip gloss, and this one is Pillow Talk. This is the actual Pillow Talk. I already have one. I hauled this one in my um, VIB Rouge, and I loved it to the point that I had to pick up another one. I do not want to run out of this one. This cost twenty two dollars for this. I love, love, love this um, lip gloss right here. And again, this is just a repurchase of that. Mascara. Anybody who knows who watches my video, I'm a mascara junkie. I buy mascara all the time. And I'm trying, I've purchased just another one from Anastasia. And I have not opened it yet because I have so many other ones to get through. But I had to indulge and spend money on Gucci right here. This is the Gucci mascara. It is called Mascara La Bascore, something like that. I black in one. And it costs, yes, it costs $35. It's a bit, it's definitely a luxury, um, a splurge. But this is what it looks like. The packaging looks like right here. The Gucci packaging right here. And I'm not going to open it, um, but again, this is what it looks like. Gorgeous. So we will see in the near future if I like this Gucci um, mascara or not. The last thing I got was the, it's a fragrance. And I'm not really into a lot of fragrance being a nurse. So I usually don't wear a lot because I usually wear either scented lotions or things like that. Because again, patients can be offended by such, um, such scents. But my friend of mine, she's put me on to Joe Malone. 
I did not want to indulge in the $130 or $40 bottle. So I just got the sample size or travel size of two cents. And this is the English pear and freesia cologne and then the wood, sage and sea salt cologne. So I thought I would try these. They are very tiny for $45. Look at this. This is definitely luxury when you spend $45 on not even, how many ounces is this? Not even an ounce. They're point, 0 0.3 each i want to say so um or maybe collectively i don't know but when you spend that kind of money on this again this was a splurge this whole haul was a splurge so i got two of them and this is just the sample sizes right here or the travel sizes that they say i'm going to definitely try these joe malone um colognes and we'll see but if i'll see if i like them or not and uh we'll see if i like them so this one right here is the, oh, I do like this one. This one is the English Pear and Freesia Cologne. So let me spray that one. Oh, it's a, it's definitely a luxury scent, shall I say. It's definitely a luxury scent. So definitely something I like. I like this one. And... Ooh, I do like this one. And then this one is the Wood, Sage, and Sea Salt cologne. Ooh. <laughs> I like this one. I think, I think I like the Wood, Sage, and Sea Salt better than I do the English one. Let me see. I've already put it on that one. Actually, the, the other one reminds me of Clinique a little bit. that smells good so I happen to like this wood sage one better and I heard you can layer them as well so I'm not sure never use this brand oh I like this one oh I definitely like that scent so if you all have tried the Jo Malone um, fragrances definitely tell me your recommendations I am new to this luxury stuff and oh I definitely like that one I'm new to it so therefore if you know anything about these these um clones or one that i should try and should go ahead and indulge in the larger size let me know in the comments below let's have a conversation down there let's chat thank you all so much for watching this video into its entirety i definitely love doing these hauls i definitely have more hauls coming up for you all um i'm doing a uh Fancy beauty haul, I believe, coming up soon. So if you want to see things like that, definitely thumbs this video up, like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't already. This is primarily a nursing channel, as I've said uh, in other videos. However, I am more than just a nurse. I'm a mom. I am a um, someone who is a lover of nice things. So I love makeup. I love skincare. I love uh, beauty, fashion, things like that. So you'll see all that on this video. Till the next time, you all. Take care. Bye-bye.